Good evening, good evening, my friends. Tonight, I just want to talk about judging people based on what you've heard about them from someone else and not actually witnessing this for yourself or, um, I don't know, not actually witnessing it for yourself or just hearing something secondhand or even um, hearing it from, if you hear it from a direct source, it, it's, you know, just, just really having discernment and, and wisdom. Um, I was thinking about this because of the situation with Mike Bickle and, um, you know, I'm not like some huge Mike Bickle fan. I, I don't agree with him <laughs> about a lot of things, but, um, you know, I do, I did appreciate his heart, uh, on, on certain things. And I appreciated what he would say about copyright. He's, he wouldn't copyright anything. He would tell people that his copyright was that everyone had the right to copy. So he had a, a good mind about, um, knowing that a man can receive nothing unless it's given to him from above and freely ever received, freely give. But anyway, so, uh, first Kings 21, and this came to mind when I was thinking about this situation, um, with, with him and with different things. And, and I'm just curious, you know, um, with Jezebel, with the situation with Naboth, uh, she hired, uh, actually she wrote letters. The whole story was Naboth, uh, didn't give Ahab his vineyard. And then she wanted it. Um, she, he wanted it, but he didn't get it. And he was crying and Jezebel's like, act like a king. I'm going to get you the vineyard. Quit crying. So she wrote letters saying, proclaim a fast and set Naboth on high among the people and set two men, sons of Belial, before him to bear witness against him, saying, you did blaspheme God and the king and then carry him out and stone him that he may die. Now, it's interesting that she has them proclaim a fast. So she's appealing to religious people okay uh i need to go into religious people because it's it's you know religious people are are um anyways i'm not going to talk about that but most of the wicked things have been done by religious people um so she proclaims a fast and they set naboth on high among the people and then they hire these two men to bear witness against him to blaspheme God and the king and carry him out that he may die. And, and they do exactly what, um, he tells them they, to do. And they end up stoning the boss to death. And, you know, it's in a church atmosphere. Um, and, and they, there's these people that are willing to lie even to the cause of this person's death. Um, so, I'm just pointing that out, you know, I'm not saying that everyone who has accusations against them is innocent, I'm not even saying that Mike Bickle's innocent, I'm just saying that um, it's weird when, like, you know, like for all the people around the boss, you know, it's like, oh wow, you've known this guy your whole life, and now, all of a sudden, at this one point, these people bring these accusations against him, and now you're willing to stone him to death. And um, I think we just have to be careful about jumping on any bandwagons of accusation because uh, Satan is the accuser of the brethren and that is his ministry to accuse people who are um, brethren. So I just wanted to point that out that the enemy is slick. I mean, if this is what Jezebel was doing, like what? 3,000 years ago, I mean, 4,000 years ago, however long ago it was, 3,000 3, something years ago, uh, think about how slick the enemy is now, you know, and plus, look at the deception that's happened across the whole world with COVID and, and everything else, I mean, you think that the enemy is not going to infiltrate a ministry and set women in there who are willing to lie? and say whatever to get someone like thrown under the bus and kicked out of ministry. I mean, I'm just saying like, you know, I think that we have to be really careful 
um, you know, in prison, the first thing that I learned was to leave nothing that you hear and half of what you see. So I think that we could uh, take that to heart and not believe what we hear and believe half of what we see. And some point, maybe even nothing that we even see. I mean, now there's things that we can see that we can't even believe. <laughs> so that being said, judge not lest you be judged. Amen.